Did you know that around $17 billion was invested in space startups last year? That's a lot of cash going into a speculative industry. Out of all the space projects, space mining is at the forefront of the categories because it's extremely lucrative. News that isn't shocking is the fact that the U.S. has become the first country in the world to ratify a law that recognizes rights to space properties. So now it's the Wild West all over again, but in space. But this time, land has been replaced by asteroids. Do you know how much the asteroid belt in our galaxy is carrying in resources? About 700 quintillion dollars worth. There's no way that much money is going to be floating around in the solar system without someone wanting to lay claim to it. As a means to extract these resources, scientists have come to realize that the technology we already use in biomining copper and zinc could potentially be the best means to get those resources. Small-scale experiments have been conducted on the International Space Station already, and they've proven that biomining in space is actually possible. Of course, this technology has already been linked to a possible benefit for the most lucrative space plan, colonizing. Biomining has actually been labeled a necessity if colonizing another planet is to be successful. It could drastically reduce the amount of energy and resources needed from Earth, and it's considerably cheaper as well. Essentially, biomining in the way that it's used on Earth means that the unnecessary rock forms that surround the minerals we're looking for are eaten away by microscopic organisms. It's designed in such a way that the remains of the process are the minerals we're looking for, and it's a more natural process than most of the alternative methods. While this process still has to be conducted in an environment that can be completely controlled, scientists say that this is our best way of harvesting resources from the Moon and Mars. What could come from us extracting resources from other planetary bodies? Honestly, no one knows for sure. But this is one of those stories where I can't help but think of science fiction horror movies. One of those movies where they say that everything was moving in a perfect balance until greedy people mined other planets dry and set them off their rotation or orbit. None of that is scientific fact, but you can't help but wonder. Biomining provides the safest and most environmental option for extracting the resources, though. I guess we'll just have to hope that the effects would be minimal on the universe. And if biomining in space can be successful, it'll be a big breakthrough of the goal of colonizing another planet. It might even be essential to colonizing the solar system. Continuing a constant supply line from Earth to wherever we attempt to terraform would be costly and unreliable, considering the amount of time it would take to send supplies and aid if needed. The use of biomining and 3D printing technology could be the biggest assets to us finally being able to establish ourselves on a foreign planet. Just take the moon surface, for example. Water is one of the key elements of biomining, and they've already discovered large amounts of water readily available on the surface. To top that off, the lunar soil actually contains loads of helpful nutrients. They don't actually call it lunar soil, though. It's actually called lunar regolith, for all you space nerds out there. A recent study actually proved that if we don't all die in a cataclysmic event that we bring upon ourselves, we could potentially become an interplanetary species within the next 200 years. They say that biomining is a big part of us being able to accomplish that. Also, new laboratories are coming up with research that could lead to self-autonomous spacecraft with robots that could conduct biomining on their own. Think of it as a sort of harvester, so we don't have to waste time on it. The Rendezvous Proximity Operations and Docking, or RPOD Lab, is actually working on this right now. They've actually assisted in creating the first self-autonomous vehicle that was sent into orbit in 2020 to help with control of a satellite. In the long run, they hope to extend this technology to more long-term spacecraft that would assist in the means of biomining precious metals from our galaxy. It's very possible that the company that can mine minerals in space will become the richest company in the world. The world's first trillionaire is probably going to be involved in space mining. When that happens, we don't know. But what we can tell you are all the space updates that will be improving exponentially over the years. Whether it be hologram doctors in space or life on Mars, we have you covered on this channel. So hit that subscribe button and get into the future of humanity and space with us. And if you enjoyed this video, please ensure to give it a thumbs up.